it is everyone hope you're doing well and i hope your hair is healthy today is going to be a hair video um so there's a lot of you that have recently joined so thank you thank you um i'm really sorry i don't usually look like this um i didn't feel like filming today but i figured since there was so many new people i would push through and just kind of not keep you waiting um so today's just gonna be a short very lazily done hair video but i really figured i'd just talk to you about um my favorite hair salon or hair salon that also specializes in dreads um and show you some products now i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking but you're free you're free for me like why would you need to go to a hair salon wait salons I thought you were freeforming. Well, you know, I wasn't always freeforming. I did admit that it's only been a year since I've stopped um, maintaining my hair, but I did go to a salon to start my dreads. If it's not a little obvious, I mean, I am very talented, but not when it comes to hair, which is really weird that I've started making videos about hair. But anyhow, I digress. Um, the studio that I'm going to be talking about today is Studio Sundari. They are located in Montreal, Canada. They're a pretty well-known salon. They do excellent work and they do all sorts of hair. And I'm talking about, they do dreads for all sorts of hair from type, the onest of type one and the forest of type 4C, okay? I'm like a 5Z hair and they were able to do my hair. So there's that. Um, and then they also do, like I said, type 1 hair, and I'm sure if they can do my hair, they can also do the opposite, polar opposite extreme of my hair. So the onest A of onest A hairs. Um, so they're very good at that. They do dreadlocks, um, maintenance, um, extensions, um, dyeing, all that. Um, they also do that, you know, like if you're balding, the, I think it's called threading or bridging. No, I think it's bridging, which is like if you're balding, they make it look like you're not balding anymore. They have a little lab at the back where they like make their own colors, mix and make their own colors. And if you walk in, it's a really colorful studio. The staff and the owners are just like the greatest people ever. They're super bubbly, super accommodating. They all know what they're talking about and they all pitch in to like make a lot of their products. They also have their own line of products, which I'm about to show you in a minute. They have um, braiders, barbers, um, they do haircuts for Caucasian hair as well. Um, so they're very diverse, like literally anyone can go to this studio. I buy their products all the time, like even to this day, um, because as a free farmer, you can still do that. Um, so, right? I think so. If not, then I'm just lying about free farming, I'm sorry. Um, so, so we're gonna go over some products. This is the first thing. I absolutely forget what it's called but it's like a bendy, wiry um, hair tie. Um, and it doesn't pull your hair as much like an elastic does. And so you can put it up in, I'm not really trying guys, I'm so sorry, but basically you get the idea. You put your hair up and you wrap it around and boom. <laughs> Yeah, I actually like this. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. Um, so yeah, I forget what it's called. They also made this um, in the store. Um, they also made this themselves. This is a Studio Sundari product all the way. Um, this is, I don't think they make this anymore, but um, this is my second bottle of it. So I bought like a bunch and this is my last bottle of it. Um, the other ones are empty, so I figured I'd bust out a new one. This is a lavender and sandalwood shampoo. It smells so nice. But yeah, like I said, I don't think they make it anymore, but this is one example of the products that they make. It's a shampoo. Um, I alternate between this and Dr. Bronner's, just because I love Dr. Bronner's. It makes me... Uh, I also really like the smell of it, but um, when I don't use Dr. Bronner's or when I run out, um, well, I alternate. So this is one that I use. It smells really good, makes your hair feel so soft. And um, on straight hair, it really makes it shiny. I don't think my hair can personally ever be shiny, but on straight hair, it makes your hair so shiny and voluminous too. So if you need volume, 
that is definitely a good shampoo for it. Like it really revives the hair. Um, the second product I have, this one, I don't have another one. I'm actually running out of it, so I need to go to Montreal again. Haha. <laughs> um, oh yeah, also new labels. Look at that. It's probably backwards, but you know, or whatever. So, um, oh yeah, and most of the products are vegan and, well, yeah, vegan and cruelty-free as well. You can see all these, um, goodness labels at the bottom of their new labels. And this is a rosemary and avocado hair oil. Good for protein and moisture, putting protein and moisture back into your hair. So I use this after um, I wash. Um, yeah, I use this after I wash and obviously I love it because I'm almost done. Um, yeah, and then I was going to show you guys the dye. Um, one of the owners made a custom dye for me uh, for the blue but I can't find it at the moment but fear not because when I do find it we're gonna be doing a hair dyeing video because I, I need to get on that so anyhow go check out their studio if you've never heard of them buy some of their products because their products are all amazing they all always smell good and they pretty much do what they say hope you guys enjoyed this video that is all for this week, and until then, I'll see you next time. Ooh, don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch on the